Okay, grade 11. Um, so there was a question on about the homework exercise question two. Okay, so let me just quickly explain to you how this works. Okay, so the question says consider the following quadratic pattern. Okay, so the quadratic pattern is this one. Let's write it down. Okay, so it's negative 7, 0, 9, 20. Okay, so first question, they want us to show that the general term of the quadratic number pattern is given by... Okay, so all we just need to do is find the general term and check if it's going to be the same with that one on question 2.1. All right, so let's find the general term. Okay, so 7, 0, 9, 20. Okay, uh, fr okay, sorry, that's a negative 7. Right, so the difference here obviously is we are going to add 7 here, we're going to add 9 here, we're going to add 11 here. So that means our second common difference is 2 and 2. Okay, remember that formula that I showed you, okay, where the first level is A plus B plus C, the second level is 3A plus B, and the third level is 2A. Always remember that formula. Okay, we're going to work out the value of A. So 2A, remember, is equal to the second common difference, which is 2, right? So divide both sides by 2. And A is equal to 2 divided by 2, which is 1. Okay. Now we need to find out the value of B. So that 3A plus B is equal to 7. So we're going to work it out from there. So we're going to say 3A plus B is equal to 7. But we know what A is already. A is 1. So we're just going to say 3 times 1 plus B is equal to 7. 3 times 1, that's 3, but it's a positive, so I'm going to switch it over to the other side. So B is equal to 7 minus 3, which means B is equal to 4. Okay, now we need to find C right uh, so we can see a plus b plus c is equal to negative 7 so we write that a plus b plus c is equal to negative 7 but we know what a is already a is 1 we know what b is already it's 4 so it's the c that we have to work out okay so 1 plus 4, okay, that's a 5, obviously, plus C is equal to negative 7. Uh, obviously, I'm going to take this 5 over, so C is going to be equal to negative 7 minus 5, which means C is equal to negative 12. Okay, so now we've just found out that our A is 1, our B is 4, our C is negative 12, so that means T is n the general term is going to be equal to n squared plus 4 times n because b is equal to 4 minus 12 because c is equal to 12 and that's the general term it is similar to the one that we had in the question which term of the quadratic pattern is equal to 128 okay Right, remember our Tn, we found it before, to be n squared plus 4n minus 12. Okay, they're asking which term is equal to 128. In other words, when this is equal to 128, what is the value of n? That's what they're asking, right? So, as it, so this is a quadratic equation. So that means I need to bring the 128 over. So n squared plus 4n 
minus 12 minus 128 is equal to 0. And then now let's write it properly. So n squared plus 4n negative 12 minus 128 equals negative 140. Is equal to zero. That's a quadratic equation. Solve it whichever method you feel comfortable with. If you can factorize or if you can use the quadratic formula. Well, the quadratic formula is the easiest to use, so we're just going to use the quadratic formula. Remember your quadratic formula, right, is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over. 2a if you remember that formula so we're going to use that to solve this equation so our n is equal to negative uh, of 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared so that's 4 squared minus 4 because the 4 is there already a is 1 c is negative 140 Remember, this is under the whole big square root over 2 times a, which is 1. Okay, so we're just going to take out our calculator and calculate that. Okay, so make your fraction, right? So negative 4 plus, you can start with n1, plus or minus, doesn't matter square root of 4 squared minus 4 by a which is 1 c which is negative 140 over 2 times a which is 1 close the bracket okay so n is equal to 10 let's see if we can get another value Remember, it's a quadratic equation, two roots. So delete that, put a negative instead. Or n equal to negative 14. Um, can you count terms in a sequence with a negative? No. So that means this is the 10th term. So they are asking, determine the general term of the first differences. Which ones are the first differences? That's one, 7, 9, and 11. Um, that's a linear sequence. And we have already learned in earlier grades how to find the general term of a linear sequence. Remember a linear sequence? You're adding the same thing all the time. So this one, remember, you're adding 2 all the time. So your TN, this is question 2.3. Your Tn is going to be equal to 2n. Now, all I just need to find out is what should I subtract or what should I add. 2 times n. Remember, your n is equal to 1. So, your first term is 7. Remember, you have to subtract 2 there, right? Because you're adding 2 all the time. So let's see, what is 7 minus 2? Well, 7 minus 2, that gives us 5. So that means your general term, therefore, is 2n plus 5. It's a normal se linear sequence. Okay. And then the last question, question 2.4. between which two terms of the quadratic pattern would the first difference be 599 okay obviously what it means is that remember that's the general term of the first differences so i need to know what is the value of n when the first difference is 599 okay so that's a very simple equation 2n plus 5 is equal to 599 okay we're just going to solve that so remember the 5 goes over so 2n is equal to 599 minus 5. 
which is 594 divide by 2 both sides and n is equal to 594 divided by 2 is equal to 297 right that's that means the first difference is at 297 so what terms do I need to remember the first term of the first difference is between 1 and 2 right so obviously this is going to be between 297 and term 298 remember when these two subtract then you get that term that is how it's supposed to work okay so i hope you're just gonna do it get it right and question three is a bit of a challenge question i would like you to try that on your own if you manage to get it please send me the answers uh, via the whatsapp or you can upload them onto your Google Classroom. And thank you for watching.